Yes, and you know, we've been running the numbers, guys. You know, we've been working from the uh, winter forecast for the last uh, few weeks around here, and let's take a look at it. Winter 2019 2020, this is what we're thinking. Last year, the leaves hit the ground, followed quickly by the snow. Kind of uh, strange, but it's Maine, so, you know, you expect everything. Winter came early in 2018, and who could forget how cold it was on Thanksgiving? The coldest ever turkey trot, in fact. I'm here with a lot of my work colleagues, so I was motivated to do that with them, and then I dragged him And along. she's making me do it. <laughs> the winter was far from a main classic with no major blockbuster storms. The highlight might have been the spinning disc of ice in Westbrook that gained worldwide attention. I'm making a giant peace sign out of this, and I wanted to spin around so bad and, and create that visual for the world to see of peace making the world around right here in Westbrook. I don't know if another ice disc will form this winter, but I do know our weather will be different. For clues, let's start by looking at the equatorial Pacific. Unlike some recent winters, this one is not showing signs of an El Nino or La Nina, but more of a neutral signal is forecast. The northern Pacific, however, is warm, and that could have an effect on us. The theory is warm waters in the Gulf of Alaska will manipulate the jet stream to pump a big ridge in the western U.S. and develop a trough in the Great Lakes and the East Coast. That's a pattern for an active storm track and big temperature changes for the eastern United States. I compared this fall to 10 prior that showed similar warming in the North Pacific. I also factored in recent local weather events such as the dry start to fall and computer model guidance. These are all clues to how our upcoming winter may evolve. Winter 2019-2020 is expected to have big temperature swings. Large dips in the jet stream will tap into an Arctic source of cold air. But those big swings should also mean big warm-ups too. After another cool November, December and January should be warmer than normal in the Northeast. The big question is, can February cold and snow overcome the first half of winter's expected warmth? When it's all said and done, the winter season December through February is expected to be around normal when it comes to temperatures. Showcase above normal precipitation and snowfall for Maine. A high probability of no snow on the ground Christmas morning in Portland. Hold a January thaw with temperatures rising above 50 degrees. After a warm start, most dynamic month with cold and snow will be February. There's a higher than normal probability of blizzard conditions in January or February. Winter 2020 may be slow to end, but this pattern favors an early start to summer in late spring. There you have it. There you go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I always thought you just looked at a crystal ball. Yeah. Or you talked to, you know, got it out of a fortune cookie or something like that. Yeah, there's a lot to it. You know, it's there a little, is a lot to it. it. It's a step sure. above, you know, yeah. just kind of taking a guess out there. But uh, for folks that are interested in diving deep into the science, uh, mm -hmm. I put a blog. Uh, and it's going to be posted on my Twitter page and Facebook page. If you're wondering how we came up with those numbers, those higher probabilities, that's all laid out in the blog. You can check it out around 6.30 tonight. All right, at Charlie yep. WGME for your Twitter handle. There. You got it. That's all it. Right.